If a churro, a donut, and a French toast had a baby, it would be a habanada. Mmm, there's sugar all over my mouth. Hi, this is Bruna, and today we're gonna be making habanada together. And I'm gonna be eating this the whole time as I'm talking to you guys. As you can see, I've decorated for Christmas because every time I make habanada, it's Christmas. And I really cannot stop eating. I'm sorry. This is a traditional Brazilian Christmas treat. And you're supposed to eat habanada right after the Christmas Eve dinner, or you can also enjoy it with coffee the next morning. This recipe will take about 30 to 40 minutes. Most of this time will be soaking and frying the habanada. So this is my mom's traditional habanada recipe that all my aunts and cousins absolutely love and they're gonna be watching this video to make sure that they learn. But there is my little twist. To make it a little bit more tangy, I add buttermilk. So you will need a quarter cup of buttermilk. You will also need one can of condensed milk, three fourths of a cup of milk. I usually use 2% milk two eggs, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a pinch of salt, and about two cups of canola oil. You need also a loaf of French bread. This needs to be pão dormido, a day old bread. This will be about 14 habanadas. What makes good bread for a habanada? Uh, it needs to be bread that the edges are not so tough. Uh, and so it needs to be a little chewy. And also the inside, it needs to be dense to make sure that it can hold all that liquid that you're gonna put into the habanada. And you're gonna need a mixture with half a cup of sugar and a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay, let's get the holiday started. So we will slice the bread into one inch slices. I don't use the edges. They tend to be drier because they have less of a miolu. To translate miolu roughly in English, it means the white absorbent part of the bread that's just amazing. Blend the condensed milk, eggs, 2% milk, buttermilk, vanilla, and salt. Pour the liquid in the container you will be using for soaking. Now let's soak. Wet both sides of the bread back and forth a few times. When it's fully soaked, squeeze out the excess liquid. Now let's fry. Your oil should already be hot, so you can go straight from soaking to frying. I'm frying one by one, so we can pay close attention to each step. But normally, I use a bigger pan and fry many at once. This is how the habanada should look, a medium golden brown. When both sides look this good, you're ready for the next step. It's super important to dry the habanadas well, right after you fry it. Press a little hard, flatten it a bit. Change the paper towels if they're getting too oily. Now let's coat. Give it a real sandy day at the beach. Roll it around. You want the sugar and the cinnamon to really stick to the habanada while it's still hot. You know, the smell of habanada, it smells good, but it sticks to you. This is reminding me of Christmas Eve. My mom not wanting to shower until she was done making all the habanadas and people coming, guests arriving. So Christmas Eve would actually only start around 10 p.m. after she had showered. Now we'll fry the rest of the habanadas. All right, so let's give it a try. Looking good. <laughs> I hope you heard that crunch. This is so perfect. It's ridiculous. 
we want them. <laughs> I need to I need to eat another one. <laughs> so I'm just gonna say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna say thank you. <laughs> Thanks for cooking with me. I'm not gonna stop eating. I hope you enjoy your habanada as much as I'm enjoying mine. And I think I ate too much habanada. <laughs>